Jasmine, just uh, bear with us, because Liam, I think, has got some breaking news for us. Well, it's not really breaking news. It's just, you know, people like me going through the documentation. The, the small the, print. The tsunami yeah. of information. <laughs> and you find some pretty startling nuggets from time to time. This is paragraph 61, and van drivers and people who rely on their car for work may want to pin back their ears. This is paragraph 61 of the OBR's accompanying documents to this autumn statement. There's going to be a 23% increase in the fuel duty rate in late March 2023. How much? 23%? Which adds £5.7 billion to receipts next year, says the OBR. This would be a record cash increase and the first time any government's raised fuel duty rates in cash terms since January 2011. It's expected to raise the price of petrol and diesel by around 12 pence per litre. There you go. On I, top of what we've already uh, got uh, in terms of increased Indeed, costs. I think that should have been mentioned in the yeah. statement. Absolutely. Funnily enough, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Ja Jasmine, come in on that. It's... Funnily enough, because uh, the problem with, you know, with, with uh, petrol, diesel, it's what literally fuels our economy. You know, everybody, it's already extremely expensive for people. To, I'm just thinking about individuals, yeah. not just businesses. And supermarket right. deliveries yes. and, and everyone with Amazon and the rest of it all being yeah. so driven to your door on top of, of the price that we're having to pay at the moment is going to increase the prices of, of everything. I, I yeah. think that's an appalling idea, really. Yeah, really. yeah. And, and we've got, uh, I think, uh, unleaded at the moment, 166, 167 uh, litre. OK, okay. As, as we speak, yeah. right, in newsrooms across the country, mm. front pages will be altered as mm. the media wakes up to what I just said. Yeah. yeah. This is absolutely huge. This really hits at the heart of the alarm clock classes of Britain. They're just about managing people mm. in Britain. Across rural areas, a car is not a luxury. For no. many, many yeah. people on relatively low wages, a van or a car is not a luxury. Why, why would you do that when the OBR has already identified that we're in recession now and likely to be in next year as well, which is when this is going to kick in? Because I think you don't really understand the economy that you're supposed to be managing, if you want my <laughs> personal view, Mark. Mm. Yeah, because they've, they've obviously gone 180 degrees from what they were eight weeks ago. This is going to go budget. down really, really right. badly. OK. Uh, and well, right let's so. Let's see.